Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I have something a little bit different for you. I am doing a clothing haul. I have never done this on my channel before. So I picked up a bunch of clothes from Hollister and I'm going to show you them and give you my thoughts on all of the pieces and let you know what I'm keeping and what I'm not and why I'm not keeping the items I'm not. So if you want to see the try on and hear my thoughts, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I know that I'm a little old, I think, to be shopping at Hollister because it is a junior-based clothing store. However, I still find some of the styles to be very age-appropriate for me. I'm 23 years old. You know, I'm wearing this shirt was something that I picked up, and I mean, I don't feel like this looks overly young. So I'm going to shop there for as long as I feel comfortable. I don't mind their pieces, and they usually have pretty good sales, so you can get things for a pretty good discount which is what I like. I got a ton of stuff and I think it only cost me like just over a hundred bucks online. I am going to be inserting clips of me trying everything on as well. Bear with me, this is my first time ever doing a try on video. So my setup was not the best and my tripod was only able to get certain angles. So just bear with me. But so I guess the first thing I will start with is something I think I'm definitely going to be returning and it is this white scarf. This is called the cable knit scarf and this cost me $8.99. Now I want to keep, let you keep in mind that I did buy things on clearance and also I was able to use uni days which is a like student discount website and there's tons of stores on there. I happened to just check for Hollister and they did have it and I think I got 10% off on top of what the clearance prices were. I only bought one thing on here. I'm pretty sure that was actually full priced. So this ended up costing $8.99 after the discount I thought this would be good for, I am going to Europe which and it's going to be colder there when I'm there. So I thought maybe this would be a good piece to have. However, it is so long and I'm not very experienced in tying scarves. But I also think this is just going to take up way too much room in my suitcase. I think if I end up needing a scarf, I may just find like a cheap one while I'm over there. You know, plus it would kind of be nice to have like the memory experience. I live in Florida so I never need a scarf usually. But, you know, I thought this was going to be a lot smaller than what it is, so unfortunately this will be going back because I just don't see this working for what I need it for. The next item we have is this black long sleeve. It has a nice little tie in the front and long sleeves. It is black, like I said, and as you can see. This is called the tie front Henley t-shirt and this is 809. I did pick this up in a small. I probably would have been better off with a medium to be honest with you. I also picked, I might as well talk about it now. I also picked the same shirt up in white also in a small. It was also 809. Now this is honestly, it is way too see-through. As you'll see in the clip, I mean you can see your whole hand through it. I was wearing a white bra with it, which you really shouldn't have been able to see that much, honestly, and you could totally see it. It is way too see-through. I think maybe part of that might be because it's a little bit on the tighter side. So the white one is definitely, definitely going back. This is just not going to work for me. It's too see-through. It's just it's too see-through now I did like the way the black one looked as you'll see in the clip I think this one looked fine and since it is black you know you can't really you're not seeing through it it's definitely you can't see anything through it however I kind of want to see when I go to take all this stuff back because I'm just gonna return it in the store I want to see if they have these shirts in the store and if they have a medium I may go ahead and try it on just to see the difference otherwise I may just end up keeping this but my only concern is that it might shrink a little bit in the wash. Let me see what the material is. Oh, it is, oh, it's 56% cotton and 38% polyester and 6% elastane. So this may not shrink too much. I may end up keeping this because I didn't mind how it fit. I mean, it definitely is a little bit tighter and I don't tend to wear tighter stuff usually. But I kind of do want a little bit of more like form-fitting stuff for when I am overseas and I have my jacket. I kind of want things to not be so loose. And I did think this one was really cute. I did not have any really any complaints with this one. Like I said, I do want to see if in-store if they have these. And if they have it in a medium, I may go ahead and try it on. 
but for eight dollars eight dollars and nine cents i mean this definitely works it fits me fine so it is just on the tighter side which i like i said typically do not wear tighter clothing but you know i did like this one so this one is a maybe i will most likely end up keeping this one i will let you know maybe on the screen or in the comments or in the description box if i decided to keep this or if i sized up or what the deal is there then also i want to talk about this i am wearing one of the pieces this is a this is the what do they call this v-neck sweater so i wasn't really sure about this at first and i don't know if you guys can see it but is it just me or does it look like there's like a weird ring here i can also see it it's only on camera that i really see it though so i don't know if that's maybe just like the material or if it's like a defect i don't know because i do like this shirt and i kind of want to keep it but i may go in store and see if they have this too and check to see if that is like i don't know maybe i'm just crazy because i don't really see it like in person i don't see this but on camera, when I tried to take a selfie in this shirt, I could totally see it. So, I don't know. I do like this shirt, though. It's very comfortable. It's pretty warm. And as you'll see in the clip, it's, it's like a nice fit. It's not super tight, not super loose. I do really like this top. So, I may end up even just keeping it, even though there's that weird spot that you can't see in real life. <laughs> so, that is that. And this cost $16.19, and I got this in a size small as well. Then, the next thing I got is this cozy half-zip sweatshirt, and this costs $10.79. This is what it looks like. It is very soft. It feels like a fleece blanket, super soft, or like a microfiber blanket. The only complaint I have with this one, and as you'll see in the clips, is that the sleeves do come down on my hand they it is long however i think if i were to size down to an extra small i probably think it might be too small so i'm pretty sure i'm just going to keep this because it was so cozy and i think it'd be perfect to wear on the plane for when i travel and i i could even see myself wearing this around like i get cold in my office i could see myself wearing this so i think i'm going to keep this especially since it was only 10.79 i think this will really come in handy overseas and like for the plane and whenever I, you know not even just overseas but just for plane rides in general and it's a very nice like camel neutral color the actual name is light brown but i think this is so cozy i just wish the sleeves were not as long that's my only complaint about it then the next thing i got is the must-have easy t-shirt in this light blue color just a simple v-neck i have had this style of shirt before from them however as you'll probably see in the clip it is also very sheer the fabric is not very thick i mean just looking i can see my hand through the material and with the white bra i could see it and you know i just don't really want to have shirts that i have to worry so much about being able to see through it obviously this is a lighter color so i would expect to wear like a white bra tan bra but like i said you could see through it in the right lighting i did go and look at myself in the mirror while i had this on in like normal lighting not under the ring light and you could still kind of see through it and i don't really want to have to worry about that you know i I think this one is definitely going to go back. Uh, let me just tell you how much it was. It was $6.29. Like I said, I've had other shirts of this style from them before, and I didn't have that problem, but I did have a darker color. I believe I had it in, like, this color. I actually think I still have it in this color. But, unfortunately, I think this one's going to go back, too. Then the next thing I got is this reversible tube top and a size small and it was $14.95. I did like this. It was very cute. However, unfortunately for me, it's just not going to work. I think, you know, because you'd have to wear, I would personally have to wear a strapless bra with it and it kind of just wants to fall down and I don't want to have to be worrying about that. But it was very cute and I, I would recommend this if for maybe if you're a little bit smaller chested and you don't have to worry about that as much or if you could get away with not having to wear a strapless bra i think it would be super super cute i had originally got this to pair with shorts as you will see in the clips but i found another thing that i already had from hollister actually i'm going to show you that that i think will work with the shorts better and pretty much achieve the same look but I do like this, but it is unfortunately going to go back just because I don't think I will really be able to get good use out of it because of the bra and like the sliding down problem. So yes, 
Then I'll show you the shorts that I got to go with it. It is these ultra high rise paper bag woven shorts. Oh, let me put them the right way. These cost $31.46. These were a full price item. I just got the student discount from the website. So actually it's funny because my sister bought these in Hollister and I told her I wanted to have matching ones because I don't mind if we match. And I didn't buy them at the time because I really wanted to wait for a sale. Well, I've been watching and they haven't really gone on sale, but then I had the discount code from the student website. So I was like, you know what, what the heck, these are super cute and I will show you them paired with the tube top, which is my original intention for this outfit. But then I'm also gonna show you them with a white bodysuit that I have from Hollister that I'm going to wear with this. And I can wear other stuff with this, I'm not saying that's the only thing, but for the actual outfit I had in mind, that is what I'm pairing with it. I love these, I got these in a size small. They are super comfortable and they have pockets. Then also to go with the shorts and the tube top, um, I had planned to get, had like this slouchy cardigan. This is called slouchy cable cardigan and it was $18. So it's just this nice gray color. It is definitely very slouchy and cozy. I think it looked super cute with the tube top and the shorts as you'll see in the clip. But I think it also looks super cute with the bodysuit that I paired with the shorts. So overall, I'm happy with the shorts and I'm happy with the cardigan. I'm definitely keeping these because I can get a lot of use out of a cardigan just aside from this one outfit. Like I said, I get cold very easily and I pretty much wear a sweater or cardigan or jacket or something every single day at work. So I can definitely get my use out of this and I think the outfit with the bodysuit, I think it's just so cute. I don't know, I just really like it. So definitely keeping those. And then the last item I got was this, what do they call this? This is the woven popover shirt. I got it in a medium and it was $16.19. Now, I do like this shirt. The only thing is I wonder if a small would have been a better fit for this style. I feel like this shirt makes me look very wide because it's kind of loose on the sides. I would rather be just a hair more fitted, not tight, but just a little bit more fitted. So that's why I'm thinking a small would have been better. So unfortunately, I'm just gonna bring this one back because I don't think I will ever really feel super confident in it just because I feel like it makes me look wide because it's a little bit too big. So this one will be going back. So just a little recap on what I'm actually keeping for sure. I'm definitely keeping the slouchy cardigan, the paper bag shorts, and then as I mentioned, I think I am going to keep this long sleeve button front shirt, but I am gonna go try it on in a medium if they have it in the store and see about that. But if they don't have it in the store, I'm probably just gonna keep this one and it will work fine. Like I said before, it's just a little bit tighter than what I normally wear, but it still looked fine, I think. So you guys will have to tell me what you thought of it from the clip. But unfortunately, most of the items are going back. I'm keeping three out of the 10. This is what always happens to me with, actually, I'm sorry, four as long as I keep this one too, assuming this is not an issue or doesn't bother me more. So four out of the 10, a lot of times this is what happens to me and this is why I usually will make a big order like this because I know that most of the items are not going to work for me. I don't wanna buy any clothing that is not, that I don't feel 100% comfortable in. So six of the items at minimum are going back and I'm still gonna have to look at this further and see if this is more of an issue in real life, not just on camera. Anyway guys, that is it for this Hollister clothing haul. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go so you don't miss any future videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.